arrived. Yep. Uh, it's Chris Homestead and Hardaway. And there's something I've been needing to do that I've kind of been putting off. And I didn't do it. But we've been getting a few emails asking questions. Been getting a few emails asking the same questions kind of over and over again. And I won't answer them tonight. But let me go ahead and warn you. This is going to be grown up talk about raising livestock. So if you're easily offended, go on somewhere and watch something else. and don't want to hear about it. You know. Uh, the first one. We got two or three right there about the same question. Uh, we'll start with this. Why do you castrate boy baby pigs? Now that's neuter, trim, cut. There's several terms for it. And uh, the truth is you can't eat them if you don't. A mature boar has a gamey, rank taste to the meat and you can't eat it. You can only eat a boar up to about six eight months old maybe 150 pounds anything over that they have a bad taste you can't eat them you don't do it to make them less aggressive or anything like that it's, it's purely because they're not edible that they're not castrated why don't you use anesthetic when you're castrating the baby pigs it's just never been done uh, i asked a veterinarian about this today and they don't do it if you call the vet out to castrate your litter of pigs, they don't use anesthetic. Honestly, if you do it when the pig's small enough and you're somewhat skilled at it and can do it fast, it's no worse than anything else. The pig gets over it in about five minutes. It doesn't even seem like he remembers it happened. Why do you cut baby pigs tails off and notch their ears okay you dock their tails on uh, any pig that's going to be sold at an auction because believe it or not pigs will eat each other's tail that's a major problem in a hog house in commercial confinement livestock is the pigs eat each other's tails so they won't let you sell them at an auction where there's a possibility they may go into a hog house with a tail on them I don't cut my pig's tails because with us, it's kind of a point of pride that our pigs are on the ground pigs and will always be on the ground pigs. Plus, we sell ours for breeding stock and they normally want the tails on. Ear notching. Ear notching is kind of an outdated practice. I have a pig out there that their ears are notched. That's probably where that came from. And we have a law here that you either have to tag a pig with a state provided metal tag. How many of those tags are there, baby, in the tagger? I'll show them that. Um, or they have to have their ears notched to identify them as a domestic pig. We're in North Carolina, wild pigs, feral pigs are new in the eastern part of the state and they're a major problem. They will have people hauling them around and turning them loose. That's the story to tell anyway. But anyway, if the pig's ears aren't notched or he doesn't have a tag in his ear, it's a $5,000 fine. So per pig, so that's why we do that. Okay, we got these kind of, we got several emails to each thing that were real similar questions and, and we wrote them out over here and we'll try to answer them. Where's the tag? These are the little tags. They're a metal tag, they're provided by the state, they're free, the state comes out and gives them to you and looks at your facilities and everything, make sure you got everything right. But you have to put one of these tags with this tool in their ear to be able to move them down the highway. Now, if you're in North Carolina, that is a law. And I only know that being enforced one time, but it's the game warden that enforces it. So you can ask the state trooper or sheriff's deputy, they don't know what you're talking about. But if the game warden catches you hauling a pig down the road without this tag in his ear, it's a $5,000 per pig fine. And I actually had a friend of mine get, get in trouble. And he finally got out of it, but it it was entirely more trouble than it was worth to get out of it, or should have been. But that's a different video. We actually talked about that in a different video. But, uh, and apparently I put that, cramped that a little bit between two. 
But anyway, that's your tags. That's why the ear notch. It's an identification thing. In the old days, uh, each sow had a certain notch you put on her pig's ear, and then the other ear was a notch for the date when they were born. So now it was a notch if it was a boar or a gill. And uh, that was the purpose in that. It's, it's kind of outdated and not done anymore. Only here because they have to do it all down the road. And these really ain't in the order they need to be in. How much does it cost to feed out a pig? That's kind of a loaded question, and that's why I waited to do this in the video. The best way I know to tell you that is it's going to take about two to three and a half pounds of feed to make a pound of pork. Now you can just say three pounds is a pretty safe bet. You can figure three pounds of feed to make a pound of pork. And you're going to have to multiply that by how big you want the pig to be and just kind of go from there. On average, it takes us about 600 pounds per pig to feed them out to 250, 275. And that's as big as we ever get one get. A lot of times we'll go ahead and take them on off about 225. And that's actually answering another question down here. So we kill two birds with one stone. We usually take our pigs on off about 225. Anything over that, the fat starts getting a little bit too thick. They're, they're still putting on a little muscle, but they're putting on a lot of fat. And part of that's the breed of hogs we go with. We go with these old timey, on the ground type hog breeds, and they, they're they still a little bit of a hard type hog, still add some fat. Uh, but you can figure, you, I don't know how much hog feed is where you are. I don't know where you are, I don't know how much hog feed costs where you're at. It's $10 for 50 pounds here. We make our own feed. We've got to cost down about four dollars for fifty pounds, but that has some variables there too. That's not figuring the electricity to run the meal or the time. If we figured in the time and the electricity, we might not be saving any. Three pounds of feed per pound of pork is a safe bet. You just had to figure that up for yourself. Okay, that's how much does it cost to feed a pig? How should how big should I let my pigs get? What's the best feeder pig breed or what's wrong with white pigs? Okay, let's see if we can touch on that a little bit. There is nothing wrong with a white pig. I don't like white pigs. I'm not saying you shouldn't like white pigs. I just personally do not like we like white pigs. And that's along the same lines that you might not like strawberry ice cream and I do. I mean, it's just, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just personally, I don't like them. The, uh, the reason I don't like them is they just don't sell that good here. Now, a real popular crossbreed here is a Duroc boar to a Chester white sow. And that is widely considered to be a really good cross. But I, I tend to favor more towards the full buddy do rocks. But that's all personal preference. As long as you stay away from small breeds, as long as you go with a full size American or European breed hog, you know, Yorkshire, do rock, Chester, White, Hampshire. I ain't real crazy about Berkshires. They got a little bit too much fat on them normally. Berkshires, anything along those lines, you'll be fine. And I, we try to keep these videos a little shorter now because I figured out you could put the secret to the, the you could put the meaning of life at the end of a 15 minute YouTube video and nobody ever see it. But we're going to cut it off right there. There's a couple more I could answer. But I think that's probably, I really think the other two have been answered in the middle of all this. And we had done this in other videos, but like I said, you could put the meaning of life at the end of a video and they never see it. But remember, You'll never play our field, turn it over in your mind, and I appreciate you watching.